Well, the leaves are turning brown, so it must be time for ELC Europe. Um, this is, uh, I don't know, I can't, I've lost track of how many years. I think we're on our, this might be our 10th year here in Europe, and about our 12th year doing ELC. Welcome everyone to Embedded Linux Conference Europe. Uh, very happy to see you all here. Um, I think we've got a great program. I say that every year, but, uh, but we really do enjoy getting together. And I was thinking a little bit about this uh, as we, uh, I, I've now, I am now, I switched roles at Sony, and so I now have a boss that'll let me work from home, and, uh, which is awesome, because I used to have an hour and a half commute. Um, and uh, these uh, conferences are a great opportunity for us to get together and have those water cooler conversations. It gets really lonely working at home all day long. Uh, and I really enjoy a chance to get together with all of you and uh, find out what you're up to and uh, have those little hallway conversations and, uh, and the, the sessions that the presenters have prepared. Uh, so I'm really excited about uh, the week coming up. I have a couple of just quick announcements I want to make before we get started. Um, I just want to uh, thank our sponsors, uh, and it really would not be possible uh, and so I really do want to appreciate, especially appreciate Intel, our platinum sponsor this year. Let's give them a round of applause. It would not be possible without, without Intel, and uh, our uh, gold sponsor is Resin.io uh, this year. We really appreciate uh, the support that they give to the event. Literally could not do it without them. Um, just a couple quick announcements. Uh, we have on site uh, this year, there's a PhD student uh, named Ralph Ramsauer. Uh, from uh, Regensburg, and he has got a survey that he's conducting of, uh, I don't know whether it's specifically kernel engineers or open source developers, but he wants to talk to us. If you're interested in hooking up with him, or you're willing to participate in a survey that he's conducting, please see, the, uh, see a member of the, at the registration. Oh, there he is, over there. Uh, take note of that guy and go talk to him. Um, the other person that I want you to talk to this week is actually me. <laughs> and there's a lot of you, and there's only one of me, so that's, uh, this is a dangerous thing I'm saying here. Uh, but uh, I, I am now involved in an automated test framework called Fuego, and I am uh, looking to get more information about the types of testing that people are doing, and I am willing to bribe you to do it. So I'm going to be occasionally, not very often, but occasionally I'll be up at the CE workgroup booth upstairs, and I am going to give you, well, not everyone that talks to me, but I have about seven of these, uh, prizes worth up to dollars. Um, <laughs> so hot tamales. I don't know if you even like hot tamales. I might be driving more of you away, uh, but uh, this is kind of a fun hot candy. Fuego means fire in Spanish, so there's a little kind of a vague connection there. Uh, but I'm going to select uh, the, the best test stories I get this week. I'll pick like six of them and give them out at closing game. Um, so with all of that out of the way, uh, let's go ahead and get to our keynote sessions for today.